Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can create your own decals with a regular sheet protector. Um, this is the decals I have in my fingers right now that I created and those are the ones that I'm going to show you how to create with Westonian plate 4 and that's the design that we're going to use. Um, I made the lines with a marker going across. I made them two inches each. And going up, I made them an inch and a half. And we're going to use clear when wild, just a regular clear right here. And what I do is I put a nice thick coat of the clear just like this I try to fill the whole square because that way I can have enough room to put whatever design I have there and whatever we don't need we cut it okay um, I already put on this side I already have some dry on this side because you have to wait to let it dry and we're gonna start stamping. Here we go. Nope, it didn't come out. Okay. They usually say for when you're stamping, like go with the design for some reason this plate does not work for me when i go with the design i'm gonna go against the design now going down okay and it works better and all you do is stamp on the paper like this. I'm gonna do another one. I'm just gonna do two because I'm not gonna need it because I already made the design. But if whatever I have here, I can use it for the future if I want. So I'm just gonna do one more and then we're gonna move to the next step. Okay, that one came out a little ruined and I apologize about this. Like I said, this plate is tricky to work with. And I'm going to such a mess. I'm going to go this way. came out nice. I'm gonna use just a color dotting too. It's from Redline and nail art some candy. Mm, let's see if we can show you guys right there. And I'm gonna use this New York color and I also am going to use Sally Hansen and the dry mess that up I use the yellow to color around the flower like this and I just stopped around 
the black. We was supposed to be purple. And that's how it looks. Very fast. What I do when I'm tapping, I usually like carry the paint around. Lightly. If you're gonna carry it, you carry it lightly. You can also use um, acrylic paint if you like. You don't have to necessarily use nail polish like we can use this if you like okay so we're gonna let that one dry hi i'm back it's already dry and what we're gonna do is after it's dry i do a light light coat off it and top when it's dry like this I did that and I forgot it I forgot that I was videotaping and I did the top coat on top of it but you guys when you guys do it after it's dry what you do is like a thin coat on top and tweezers what I do is like go in the corner and peel that out like this lightly be careful you don't break the design it was a little damp the top flower was still a little wet how you guys can see right here a little damp but guess why it's still good it's still good and I'm gonna show you in this nail wheel I'm gonna use this one right here and what you do is you're trying to position it where you want it so I'm gonna do the small flower on the top and the big one on the bottom what I'm gonna do is I am gonna grab this scissors right here and cut that out so I won't show on my nails on the nail when I finish the work these are just small nail scissors You guys can cut as much that you think you're not going to use, so, on it. But I'm going to show you how I do it. Well, I was going to show you, but like I said, this is damp. So it's kind of sticking to the nail. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm just going to explain to you what I did to my nails. What I did was I cut in between the design and I used, on this nail, I just used the big flower. So I cut it all around the flower and what I do is I use the when while clear and I do like a little bit on the spot that I want it and I let it dry a little bit because what I did was when I did my decals eh, I put them I did them like two days before I had colored them and everything and they kind of dry and they, they, they were not like flexible is 
the, this one is. So I was trying to place it where I wanted it and it will move. So what I did was I used the clear to keep it in place. And I, like I said, I did like a thin coat of the clear and I let it dry a little bit and then I placed the design on top, the decal. I placed it on top and I let it dry and I kind of used my finger to smooth the um, decal out like I'm gonna do right now with this one. Like I said, I'm just gonna leave this one on because it's still a little damp. I'm just gonna fix it and I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like when you, when you finish. I'm gonna try to smooth everything out. This one with my finger. And all you do is try to smooth it out. Cause you don't wanna see no bump. This one, I, like I said, this thick cow was still wet. I should have waited a little longer. And see how this one came out? Does not quite look like like mine because I placed it wrong. But it's still a good design. And this is my fault. And now I'm gonna use Sish Feed for tap coat. And you go over it, over the design with it. Like that. And you're gonna see that you're gonna have still pieces of it and it comes right out like that and you just let that dry and that's what it looks like like that I also did this one. I did this was the first one I make, believe it or not. The first deco I made. And it came out beautiful. But I took my time, let it dry, I knew where I was gonna place it and that's after that that's when I did my nails. But for some reason this one I didn't wait the time that I was supposed to wait because I wanted to make this video because I was so excited about it that I can make my own decals and I just wanted to show you guys how you can make your own and this is how you make a decal so now it's drying up and I think it looks pretty good you know it wasn't dry all the way but it looks pretty good and I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys learn how to do your own decals. And thank you for watching this video. And I hope it was helpful to you guys. Bye.